All right, another big breakdown here. Georgia going on the road to Kentucky. Why is this a big breakdown, Greg? You're probably asking yourself that. I don't know. (laughs) I don't think this game's going to be competitive. Uh, I don't. Just like I told you earlier in the week, I don't think Tennessee on the road at South Carolina is going to be competitive either. I just think these two teams have eclipsed that of their their foes, if you will, in the SEC East by such a significant margin. I just don't see it. And honestly, if you look at Kentucky, Kentucky, by the way, had a difficult time moving the ball last year against Georgia. We know people say, well, maybe Georgia's defense isn't as good this year. I think they're pretty dang good. Well, I know this. I know Kentucky's offensive line has been really substandard. So what makes you think that this offensive line and this passing attack uh, and these wide receivers and all this stuff are going to be able to move the ball consistently against the Georgia Bulldogs? I personally don't see it. It's a bad matchup for Kentucky. They've lost 12 consecutive games to Georgia. That's the longest active losing streak by any SEC team against the Bulldogs. You heard that right. Any SEC team, that means Vanderbilt, has beaten Georgia more recently than Kentucky has, okay? It's the matches the longest winning streak against a conference opponent since joining the SEC for Georgia. They also uh, they also won 12 straight against Ole Miss from 77 to 88. So whatever historical significance there is there, at least you have it. Uh, this has been a really, really tough game for Kentucky the last few weeks. They've also lost seven straight against AP number one teams. Their last win was in 2007 when they beat it. uh, The eventual national champion LSU in overtime. I I think last week when you look at Kentucky, they lost to Vanderbilt for those that are unaware. They did not look good in the process. Will Levis looked really, really average. And if you look at it, man, he has had a tough time. You had a total QBR of 16 last week. Interception. He registered a total QBR of less than 20 of two of his last three starts. I mean, Will Levis, he's either not at 100%. I mean, if this guy's supposed to be a top 10 pick, he's got to play better than he's played. I also acknowledge, too, the offensive line hasn't helped him. I mean, the guy is constantly under duress. He's constantly getting hit. He's holding on to the ball too long. He's trying to make plays, but this offensive line's not giving him much of a chance. And, y'all, that's against Vanderbilt. What do you think is going to happen when they go up against the likes of the Georgia Bulldogs? I just don't like the matchup at all. I think this thing gets sideways in a hurry. Uh, I think both teams at the top of the SEC this weekend, I think they win big with both Tennessee and with the uh, Georgia Bulldogs. But I also think too, man, I just, we need to figure something out with Kentucky. They're just not recognizable compared to what they've been in recent weeks, uh, compared to what they've been in recent years. Just, they need to get back to who they were And that's being great along the line of scrimmage and really sound on defense because ever since that Tennessee game, everything's kind of started to slip and everything's kind of started to fade away. It's a big opportunity here for them to at least show that they can resemble what they've looked like in recent years. But I don't like the matchup at all. Give me the dogs. Give me a big.